This lesson is about how to create a cloud storage drive in order to back up your CAD files in a more automatic fashion. This is a step that a lot of people miss when they first get started or are setting up a new workstation. So important to have some sort of a backup method. You could use either OneDrive or you could use a Google Drive as well, but they both work pretty similar. And since we are working with files, be super careful. I take no responsibility for any mistakes. So you're working at your own risk here. So go ahead and go to onedrive.live.com. And from here, you can create an account. I'm just going to choose get a new email address. Call this old guy CAD at Outlook. And then I'm going to create a password here. This is very similar to Google Drive, where it's just asking for pieces of information. Now that it's created the email, it's asking me to solve this puzzle. So I choose next and then solve the puzzle here. That's just to keep the bad guys out, I suppose. And then now it's creating the account. So down here in the lower left, you'll see get OneDrive apps. So click this here and then choose download. Now the download is going to allow the app to work directly with your local drive so that as you save files on your local drive, they're automatically backed up into OneDrive. So go ahead and download that. So we'll just take a couple seconds and then once this is opened, choose yes to this and then it's going to start uh, installing that for you now once that's installed it's just really a matter of going down to the clock area down here and you're see, you see this little cloud down here it says onedrive personal not signed in we'll click on that and we'll go ahead and sign in with the same email that we created when we established a new account if you have an existing Outlook account, just go ahead and sign in. And then here's where the location of the drive is going to reside. I'm going to just keep that as is. I'm going to choose next. And here, this is super important. Just make sure that your documents folder is checked. It's also important to understand this backup setup only will work if you are keeping your CAD drawings underneath the documents folder. So I'm just going to uncheck this. Desktop is kind of nice to have backed up. We're going to turn off music and videos. Then I'm going to choose start backup. And it's just a matter of following the prompts. And then when you get to this window here, we're going to want to keep this all the same. Uh, we don't want an online only access because if our internet connection breaks we want to still have access to our files so we choose next and we'll open the onedrive folder you see this little arrow here well that means that it's syncing with the onedrive setup and while it's doing that i wanted to show you a couple more things if we come down here to the cloud icon here we can go up to the gear icon here and we can choose settings we want to make sure that this preference is checked on so that you start the onedrive as soon as you sign into windows and there's a battery setting here to disable the syncing when the battery is getting weak but for the most part when you use your documents folder as a home base to where you store your cad files then they will be automatically backed up into the cloud or to OneDrive. Now, another way to access OneDrive online is to just go to onedrive.live.com. So here, you'll be able to see the exact replica of the files that you have on your computer. And there's a couple of things here that I want to show you. So if you click on the documents folder, 
you can see all the folders that have been syncing on my machine. Let's go into the shortcut CAD folder and then let's go ahead and open up AviCAD real quick or your CAD application, whatever you're using. And then from here, let's go ahead and open up the a drawing here. I just wanted to show you something real quick. Let's say we're working on a drawing and we make a change here and then we save the drawing, save it and go back to the OneDrive web interface here and click on the modified link here, newer to older. You'll be able to see that I modified the pumphouse.dwg about a minute ago. Now, if I click on the dot, dot, dot here, I'll be able to see the version history. So I have two versions of this file. I have the file in its state before I saved it, and then the state after I saved it. This is a great way to go back in time in your file. If let's say, if you wanted to restore an earlier version of your file. Now I've only got two listed here because I just created the account, but as you use those files more and more, you're going to have a lot more versions of those files. There's also a, the ability to take a file and share it by clicking on this icon here. And here you have the ability to message somebody by email and then change the permissions here. It says anyone with this link can edit, or we can change it to can view and apply. And that would allow that person to only view the drawing and not to make any changes. So again, this is complete mirrored image of your working CAD folder residing underneath your documents folder. A great way to automate your backups, just so you have an extra copy. And if your hard drive would fail, then you could always come back and restore these files very, very quickly. You also have the ability to, let's say, take one of these folders and then go ahead and download the entire folder. And when it downloads it, what it does is it creates a zip file out of it so that you could download it to another location if you're working off site or whatever. As long as you store folders within this documents dropdown, they're going to appear in the cloud. For example, if I had a file here in my pictures folder, now currently you remember this picture folders is not being backed up as I unchecked it in the setup. But let's say if I were to go ahead and cut this and then paste it into, let's say, this folder here, like so. You can see here that it's being uploaded to the cloud. So this is a great way to make backups of, let's say, your original setup files or any add-ons that you have in CAD so that you can retrieve them in the future in case of a hard drive fail. I'll repeat it one more time, and as long as you drag files within this documents folder, they should appear in the cloud. And you can always double check that. If you go to your OneDrive.Live account here and signing in, coming over to the info tab up here. And the info tab is going to show you the most recent activity that occurred within the last day or even previous days. So it's a good idea to double check this every so often to make sure that the backups are being created. Now, if you click on this, you'll be able to see the process as it's syncing here as well. It's also a great idea to glance down into your lower right corner to make sure you're always signed into OneDrive. Otherwise, you may not be backing up as you think you may be. So down here, if it's not connected, you're going to see like a cross through this icon here telling you that the backups are inactive and that you need to sign in. So in this lesson, we first created a Outlook account and then we logged into our OneDrive and downloaded the desktop app, installed that, and then made sure that our documents folder was checked in the settings menu that you can find in the lower 
right hand screen near your clock. And then once signed in, your CAD working folder residing underneath your documents folder will automatically sync into the cloud and perform backups for you. So that in case you ever needed to restore, those files are still there. All that hard work can be downloaded back to your new machine.